Hey designers, this is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your WordPress websites. If you are new here, consider subscribing. In this video, I will show you how to use Elementor inline auto feature and custom positioning that was introduced in Elementor version 2.5. So if you are not on Elementor version 2.5, you need to update to Elementor version 2.5 to use these features. With that being said, let's get into the video. Let's start with inline auto feature. As you can see here, I have a section and a column within which I have a heading widget and two buttons. And if I want to align these two buttons side by side, I can use inner section. So I'll just drag in inner section and it will create a section within this column. So I can simply drag these widgets into each of the columns and they'll be aligned side by side. Now I can click on individual buttons and then align them so I can change the alignment of this one so I can align this like this or change it to this so various other options whichever you way you could do that with an inner section widget I'll just align it to the right and I'll just align this to the right so they're side by side but with inline auto feature you don't even need to create an inner section you can I'll just undo my actions okay so there we are simply click on any widget go to advanced under custom positioning and under width you can click on width and then set the width to inline auto once you do that the widget just takes up the space that it needs but not the hundred percent width that is available within the column and you can simply do the same thing with the other widget in this case the other button I'll click on custom positioning change to inline auto and they just are arranged side by side now this is not actually a good looking layout so what I can do is that I can click on this column and with the horizontal align feature I can simply start rearranging these widgets as you can see if I want some space between the widgets simply just like that or maybe space around widgets so just like that within two steps I have my buttons side by side properly aligned within this section you can also apply inline auto to any widget as I told you inline auto is not just limited to any other widget so it applies to any widget so you can click on any widget so in this case I'm picking icon so you can go to custom positioning I can click on width and set it to inline auto so as you can see that the width of this icon is highlighted in blue it means that this widget is just taking up the space that it needs in this case my icon just has the space that it needs and it just shrinks down the unused space so I can also do the same thing with the other icons here or I can simply right click, copy, right click again and paste style. Since inline auto is basically a CSS feature, when you paste the style, the CSS or the feature will automatically be applied to other similar widgets. So just by copying and pasting style from this, which has inline auto, all these will have inline auto automatically. You can check that under advanced tab, just like that. That's because inline auto is actually a CSS feature. So simply right click copy and paste style on anything that you want as an inline auto just like that it will be applied and you have all your styles aligned in here and of course you can click on your column and then maybe change the spacing so just like that you can have various combinations and various layouts and when you hover over any widget you can see it shows the space that it just needs and again inline auto is responsive so when you click on any widget you can change the type of width from inline auto to anything else on tablet desktop and mobile devices so based on your liking tweak this click on the desktop icon go to tablet and then make it inline auto or anything else that you want okay next see how to use custom positioning feature in Elementor. 
so you again you can click on any widget go to advanced and under custom positioning you have a property called position so if you change it to absolute you can freely drag this wherever you want it need not even be the column or the section you can basically drag it anywhere across the website but you'll mostly use it to reposition it within the column so I'll just drag it and position it slightly onto the top and again even this is a CSS feature so you can right click copy and paste the style and even the property of this widget is changed so you can click on that and you can see that the position property of this widget is also changed to the property of this widget so I'll just drag this flip box widget slightly onto the bottom and to the middle slightly on towards the button and maybe slightly onto the center again you can right click on this copy and paste the style on this widget and that will apply the position of this widget to this widget so you can click and drag it so you can reposition all of your widgets so you can have widgets like this so just like that this custom positioning is mainly used to achieve asymmetric layouts and to move widgets within a section or a column so similar to something that I did here so you can either click on each widget change its position from default to absolute and then click and drag it or you can also use the offset sliders so you, if you use offset slider you'll know how to place it precisely in pixels or in percentage so that's how you use the custom positioning feature introduced in Elementor version 2.5 and that's it for now and hope you guys like this video if you did make sure to give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you need anything else don't hesitate to ask i'm ready to help you catch you in the next video peace